Hi, everybody. Today, I'm here with Dr. Jean Davidson. She's here to tell me a little bit about a recent publication here at Cal Poly. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what's going on with the work you're doing? Yeah. I'm excited to talk today about a um, exciting collaboration between myself and the biology department. I don't know if you recognize Fisher Hall with our animals and my collaborator, Dr. Paul Anderson in the computer science department. We're both kind of recent, recent uh, hires to Cal Poly and we both are interested in the field of bioinformatics and genomics. And so we just got a paper out that is um, integrating biological knowledge into machine learning classifiers to improve breast cancer subtyping. Um, so it's this real great intersection between a truly computational tool, these neural net machine classifiers, and a true biological problem, the fact that gene expression really defines a breast cancer tumor and can help make decisions about treatments and prognoses, and how can we connect the power of those two by kind of reaching across the aisle, connecting the skills and um, interests of both groups. And it was really driven also by collaborations of our research students. We had two bio um, and two CS students who really drove this forward from the get-go. That's amazing. And what sort of work did it look like for these undergrad students? A steep learning curve for everybody. The first step was just figuring out how to communicate with each other. Um, it was a really wonderful experience for our students to see how much they knew. They were senior students. And the second we got them talking, they're like, would use their jargon that was kind of unique to their field and it was wonderful to see them like oh i know a lot about the words transcriptomics and gene expression profiling and the computer student science students understood about machine learning layers and stuff and but there's this magical moment when they realize how to explain it to each other and the potential of bringing these really powerful fields together and our overall goal is to take advantage of the like vast biological resources, thousands of publications a day, these beautiful open source databases, repositories of genomic and transcriptomic information that are just sitting out there. And this is what I worked on in kind of in my previous life before Cal Poly building these resources. It's always been near and dear to my heart to like, let's use them. They're sitting there tantalizing, they're free students can get in there play with them let's use them and then dr anderson coming at it from the computer science side he saw these algorithms just completely ignore the biology their machine learning classifiers artificial intelligence in medicine and healthcare is growing like wonderfully quickly but he saw this kind of concerning trajectory that it was a ignoring all this biological data the major goals of these algorithms were to go faster to go quicker to analyze bigger data sets and there was very little like but are we getting the right answer are we taking into consideration the complicated biological networks and feedback loops and stuff and and they weren't and so we both kind of had this chip on our shoulder in our fields that like the data wasn't being used and the algorithms were paying attention to the data. We had been, you know, just kind of stewing on it for a while and talking about it for a while. And it was really the shutdown of the pandemic where we had to close my wet bench lab. And what are we going to do with our beautiful, wonderful students that we had in the lab that were so eager to continue on with research? And we're like, well, now's the time. This is all computational. It's all virtual. We can meet on Zoom and we can meet via Slack. And we proposed that to our students and the certain ones just rose to the occasion and um, they ran the experiments, they wrote the paper, they um, have been integral to this project completely. And for current undergrad students that are interested in opportunities like this, where should they begin to get involved? The nice thing about this publication is it really feels like the tip of the iceberg. It's sort of demonstrating that by incorporating some, just a tiny sliver of knowledge about breast cancer, really, we just put in the like most minimal input of knowledge. We actually have really robust results on the algorithm being much more rep uh, reproducible. So you put in the same 
patients and it consistently classify them into the into the subtypes. So what we were thrilled that it was kind of uh, embraced by the community. We were worried about what paper, to, what journal, would it be a bio paper or a CS paper? Um, but it's been really accepted um, quickly for publication and we've been invited to talk about it at both bio and CS conferences, which is great. So we're kind of hoping this becomes a major research trajectory for us. The nice thing about it for students is that once they understand how to integrate with the algorithm and the data set, they can drive it in whatever direction they want. They can switch it to a different cancer. They can switch it to a different type of genomic or proteomic or transcriptomic data set. Our CS colleagues can adjust the classifiers, try a different classifier. Um, so we're actually rebuilding our team right now. Um, we have four CS and four bio students, and we're kind of partnering them up and like try different things, try different trajectories of this project. So we are absolutely always looking for new students, especially outside of just bio and CS. This can go move into mathematical modeling, it's a huge field for statistics, really anything that you want to classify we can help. Um, so you can reach out to Dr. Anderson or myself. Um, we would love to have you join our team. Thank you so much, Dr. Davidson, for meeting with me today. That's amazing work you guys are doing. So, so thank you so much for sharing that information. Giving us the opportunity to talk about it. We're really, we're so proud of our students and so proud of them taking on this challenge in an already challenging time. Um, but I think they learned a lot. All three of them are now graduated and have jobs in the bioinformatics space. Um, they're still zooming into our lab meetings to help train up this next generation. Um, it really is a credit to this like ambitious learn by doing philosophy of Cal Poly. And um, I think it's gonna be a really rewarding and rich research experience going forward. All right. Thanks again. I hope everybody has a great day.